Hello guys, welcome back to Vandessa J. We are at it again. And this day, guys, is something that I know a lot of y'all have been waiting on because you know I love to go above and beyond when it comes down to my coffee stations. Well, this year, guys, I did not really go above and beyond, but I did change a lot. So if you want to see what I changed on my bar, you know what to do. Just go ahead and stay tuned. Working on myself, working on my health, working on my mind, taking all the time, yeah, that I need just to find me. Cause who's gonna do it for me? Breaking all my habits, cutting off distractions, getting close to God, yeah, defeating the odds lately. I'm seeing me through a different lens. I'm taking time to do work. Hey girl. Okay guys, so first thing I want to acknowledge that your girl is in pink today. And if you know what the pink is, is breast cancer awareness. So your girl is rocking her pink today. So the first thing I want to do is talk about on my bar, guys. Um, this is it. Guys, I I am in love. You know, and I know if you are OG here on my channel you probably hear me say so often i'm in love with the space all over again really and honestly when you change up a space and it looks new you fall in love with your space again and indeed that is what happens to me every time so what i did this time this is my new baby this is my nespresso so this is my new baby to my bar this year so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the different things on the bar if i can link the things down below i would definitely link the things down below so um the first thing i'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about one thing so let me bring you up a little bit closer okay guys so the first thing i want to talk about is this mat um I had the bar over here for the last, I think, two years. And what I found out, this is my piece of furniture that um, it had a hutch to it also. And I bought it off of Facebook Marketplace for $20. So I got rid of the top. I donated that to Goodwill. And I kept my bottom pieces because, of course, I need for storage. And I really love my coffee station back here. So, um last year i noticed that i had so much on top of here so what i decided to do this year i went in target and looked around for something i did not want the cloth runners i did not want that so this was perfect and and what this is guys this is the contact paper um runners it's not really it's a door liner and it's like when you're lining your shelves and all this guys is absolutely so perfect so um i did pick this up at target um as like i said as many things as i can put down in the description for links i will so what i do love about this and guys it has already came in so handy um i was doing the serps and lo and behold it wastes and I was like, oh my gosh, this has already came out perfect. So what I decided to do, I kept it on the ridge side. Um, it has a flat side and a ridge side. And the ridge side, guys, this is what I kept it on. And it absolutely worked out perfect. So if you have a coffee station um, or a bar, you put it in your kitchen or put it whatever, this is a perfect piece to have. So now let's go ahead and I think let's talk about the nespresso okay okay guys my baby nespresso as you know you've heard me talk about ever since um december i think last year i said okay what i really want is an espresso i did not know the version of the espresso that i wanted but i knew i wanted an espresso i still have my carrot um i do have two i have a pink one the slimline one i have one in my office and also i have one in our pot pantry but i wanted a nespresso so baby nespresso has made its debut here in our home and and I have used it guys I love it one of my YouTube sisters left me a message when I did the haul and she said I have an espresso and I used it for just um, just to look pretty in decor when you use it let me know 
I love it, sis. I love it. So the Nespresso, I really, really love. Um, it's one thing if you just want you just a regular cup of coffee, I would suggest you have just like a regular coffee pot or the carrot. Um, that is the reason why I do have both. I was going to set both up here, but of course, if you can see, I don't have the space for it. So this, guys, is absolutely. I have fallen in love with it. I love it. So now let's go ahead and start talking about this side because on this side, guys, it's a lot that I want to talk to you about. Okay, so on this side, this is like the sweet treat tea side. So here I have, um, these are the pumpkin rolls, so like, your strawberry swiss rolls and all so this is the pumpkin and guys you know this is the season for pumpkins so um i got this i think this is my first time ever purchasing this because i love the little debbie pumpkin smiles it's like a smiley face guys those are my absolute fall favorite my hands down so hopefully when i do taste one of these i will like it so the next thing guys these are the caramel waffles my kids love these. With this, with the size, I don't want to touch it. But on this one, the size that it is, what you can do, and I was talking about this in my haul. If you didn't um, see my haul, I would just link it like somewhere up here and down in the description. Um, with these, you can get you a cup of hot tea or hot coffee and just take it and sit it on top of the coffee and it will steam this and when you get ready to break it apart the caramel just drip it is so good it is so good so these can be steamed with your coffee or your hot tea so now down here guys these are some pumpkin walnut cookies I know I'm on this health journey of eating healthy and I've lost so much weight within the last two months, but I'm telling you guys, I, I can't wait to dig into those. So these cookies, I cannot remember the name of them, but my daughter saw these and she was like, mama, oh, I want those. So I did purchase those. They're like chocolate on the backside and it's, I'm not sure what it is on the top, but she knows what it is. If you don't know, my daughter just graduated from baking and pastry. She's now currently in college to get her bachelor degree in culinary. So she knows about all of the goodness. So now, guys, um, on this side, I'm going to talk about the sweets, and then we'll go down to the teas, okay? So now let's talk about, like, right up in here. Okay, so right up in here, what I decided to do this year, guys, is to actually add labels to it everything and i am going to um probably show you in another video if you want to do labels what you can use on your computer do your own labels you don't have to pay anyone and i'm telling you it is fantastic so here um i have the crunch caramelized um mug mug toppers i can't talk so this is what it is so when you fix your hot coffee you can just have this have the cut indentation in there that you just fit right on your cup so i set that inside here so on this one guys i did that cute little label there and this is the hazelnut waffles so here it is just like the mini waffles so of course da -da. and next we have these guys, I am so ready to taste this. So these are the blueberry lemon twice baked cookies, but these are like biscottis and I love me some biscottis. So I'm going to have a good time with those because I love some biscottis. So the ones right up on here, they are like the waffles also guys. And it's like in a biscotti type also but this one has walnuts and honey inside of it so these are some of the sweet treats and besides that guys your girl cannot do a bar ever without having straws so um in the hall i told y'all about this this okay guys i'm so sorry about that um what that telephone call was it will be in my tomorrow's video so <laughs> nevertheless guys um that is all for the sweets 
let's go ahead and just move over to this little cutie patootie box okay guys in this box it is some of my fall and winter teas so i have like in here the apple spice the cranberry orange the forest fruit the caramel spice the ginger bread and also um can't remember what that one is it's chocolate mint so this is my tea box and it specifically says on there it's a tea box so i love this little tea box and i've had it for many years now um so also inside here well up under here um i showed you this in one of my hauls is a glass little mini milk um containers you remember kindergarten elementary school we had those my school by Colbert. <laughs> so up on here, I just have my grain foils and this is the cinnamon toast and the other one is Madagascar vanilla. So I just have these up under there. And like I told you, I got this little container only because it was just so darn adorable. So that is the reason why I got that. So that is where it sits. So let's go ahead and pull on the other side. Okay, guys, on this side, right on the side of the Nespresso. First, let me tell you, this is the little Nespresso shot little glass. Um, I got this off of Timu. So it came off of Timu, and I think I paid like 3 or $4 for it. So it's actually so cute. And I want it because of the wooden handle. And if you can see, I'm doing black and wood elements so that was my thing the black and wood elements so here guys with this little container here this is another tea this is my rose hibiscus tea and of course i did a little label with the hibiscus tea on the front so guys this container it was just going viral everywhere so i have another one i just don't know where it is but i use this one because i can see my teas and that's another thing guys i wanted everything to be more of a clear consistency of you seeing right through the containers so that was another thing that I wanted to do so the next one guys I did not put a label on this one because it says exactly what it is so this is my lychee organic black tea guys I purchased this from Marshall's and I'm telling you it smells so good I have not tried it yet because it's it, it just smells so good so I I'm so excited to see what this is going to taste like. And one thing, it is organic, so I cannot wait. So let's go ahead and start talking about the other stuff on the other side. Okay, guys, so now on this side, these are some little spoons that I picked up from Timu. So they are very micro small to me, but it is very good to stir when you have a smaller cup so the mugs that i have up here are these mugs and of course oh wow it actually i mean if you take it to the side you have to put your finger in there and that's what you don't want to do especially when something is hot you don't want to do it but these spoons were actually cute i think i got four of them for a dollar and um 68 cent or something like that so the next thing, guys, I do have a William Sonoma Father, but it did not go with my colors. And I ordered an espresso Father. So white came damaged. The box, UPS destroyed the box. So Intel, yeah, I had to send the Father back. So um, I'm just waiting for the replacement so I can get the replacement. But I just want to go ahead and get the bar taken care of. Cause I am ready to drink some coffee and tea okay so the next one is just I pulled my other little father out so I have my little handheld father so I pulled that out so um also if you saw my haul you know I got this little shaker and I told you guys that I wanted more of the gold elements so what I did I sprayed the bottom gold but I left the top silver for the simple reason yeah, that's up top. And I did not want that to get touched with the spray at all. So I left that as is. So now let's talk about this side of things, guys. Because this side, it, I am so, so elated on this side. Okay, guys. So now, 
when it comes down to this size, I wanted something to definitely look like you're in an upscale coffee shop and it's nice and that is what I want so I did labels for each one of these bottles these are the original bottles that they came in but I put my own labels on each one of them so up here we have the peach lychee blue raspberry lavender white chocolate brown sugar cinnamon uh, mocha and the salted caramel um it is one thing that I do want to tell you about when you, if you getting these, do not make the mistake. That's why I say it came in handy having this um, piece down here. Um, I was doing the blue raspberry and I put the pump in guys. And I was like, for the love of me, why all this blue syrup coming out? You're going to lose some syrup when you put these pumps in. Make sure that you take the syrup down. Pour it out. Yes, literally you have to pour it out. Because when you put the pump in, it's going to go everywhere. So um, when I did that for the first two, the blueberry and I think it was the lychee, I was just like, let me grab a cup. Let me pull some of this off. So when I put the pump in the rest of them, I would not have this issue. And indeed, that's what I did. And I did not have any more issues. Now, I do have another one. This is another pump. It is a little bit smaller. Um, this one, guys... Trying to make sure that I can show you. There it is. Um, so this one is the cupcake. Oh, can you see? Can you see? Okay, so this one is the cupcake. So because I had so many different syrups, I think I still have one, two, three, four, five. I have six syrups that I could not even put up here. So um, what I did... I just put that one there. I am. I do have one more bottle that size. And if I do find on Amazon, I will link it down below also. Um, so down below, um, I have the sauces. And I have it in chocolate hazelnut, white chocolate. And this one is the dark chocolate. I also have a caramel but um because it wasn't by the same name brand kind of like did not put it out <laughs> i did not put it out so um this is thing i told y'all this on the haul if you like sweet potatoes this white chocolate follow what i'm telling you if you love sweet potatoes Get the white chocolate. Get some butter and put this over it. And thank me later. Okay, thank me later. So these are the sauces that I have up here. And the funniest thing, guys, they go along with my colors. So that was excellent. It matched right along with my colors. And that I was super excited for. So the next thing, guys, you know, I told you I picked these up from Ross Department Store. So I love these because they have the gold stripes on it. I want to incorporate lots of gold because gold just have really been taking over your girl because I've always been a sterling silver girl. But this gold, this gold is getting me. So I got this. Um, it's 10 of them. So I just have them stacked this way. And then, of course, my mugs that I absolutely, these are the seamless mugs. Let me explain to y'all guys, when I first found out about this mug, I've had these a year, almost two years, and I've only did content as far as a reel with them. That's all I've ever done with them. Um, they are seamless. I have the bows, I have the champagne glasses, and I have... I have one other oh the, the seamless plate i have those so with this the first time i ever seen it if you look at aaliyah face aaliyah had it and i'm like oh my gosh okay aaliyah please tell me where you got it and she was like oh I, this is coming from amazon i have it in my link 
honey, I put that TV on pause and I hear Amazon like no tomorrow and I found them. Guys, they are still on Amazon. This is them up close. I'm telling you guys, when I say this is just, when it says seamless, that means you don't see all that thick rim around here. My handprint with this lotion is all over this mug, but they are so pretty. I'm telling you, if you want you an elegant cup of tea or an elegant cup of coffee, latte, these are the mugs. Okay, guys, these are the mugs. So now let's talk about um, the stands. And also, I know you're like, okay, Vandessa, so if you have an espresso, where are the pods? So if you want to know, let's go ahead. Okay, guys, this stand was absolutely perfect. It is a two-tier two stand, and the legs and all are gold. And it was black. I got this from Marshalls. It was originally $16.99. They marked it down because it had a, a few scratches and bumps on it. She marked it down to $12. Guys, I grabbed it quickly and absolutely it worked out perfect here in the space. I absolutely love it. Okay, the stand that the Nespresso is sitting on, guys, this is my Nespresso pod holder. So let me tell you, if you have a carrot pod holder like this, you can use these for your Nespresso pods. What I did because I wanted the black and wood element, I just took the drawer out and sprayed the outside black. Absolutely love it. So I know you're like, Vandessa, well, how can you do that? So let me show you. Yes, guys, it worked. So what I did, guys, I turned my Nespresso pods to the side. So here it is. And you know, with the carrot, um, do I have a pod? Yeah, because I'm still using carrot, of course. These sit down like this. So with the Nespresso, of course, you know, they're on that little hump on the bottom. So when I was looking, I was like, oh wow, I can still use these and I just take them to the side. So you'll be able to see the labels and the colors. So this was absolutely perfect. And every flavor of the Nespresso pot that I had, every last one of them is in here. So if you have one of these, if you have it for your carrot, I'm sorry, you can use it for your Nespresso pods. So that is where my pods are so guys this is my coffee station well i guess i need to tell you about two other pieces um one you can see right here it's a cafe open 24 hours a day no it's not if you're going to contribute um one year i did that guys i was like well if y'all want the goodies and drinking all the coffee and all that you need to contribute to it y'all not a person within this house want to contribute but i guarantee you things were being missing so whenever i do stuff like this guys i am spending all of my money for it okay so let me go ahead and show you this cute little picture that i have up here and i got that picture from i don't know so this is the picture and it says fall sweet fall so if I'm not mistaken, oh, I got it from the Target spot. It was $5 and it was half price, so I got it for $2.50. So um, it had that wood element, so I got it. And I just tuck a fall leaf right behind that. So that is the other picture. Target spot. So guys, this is our bar. Love it. Yes, I do. Ready to have fun with it? Absolutely. So, um... The next video we will be doing will be a car chat. And within that car chat, guys, I'm going to give y'all some good news at the end of that video. Um, after that, um, today is Wednesday. That's Thursday. On Friday, guys, we're going to come back to the bar. Um, we're going to be doing some fall drinks. And I'm going to show you how to make a recipe book that you can have read at your 
coffee station. So guys, this is my coffee station for 2023. So, so let me go ahead and bring you in closer so you can see a closer look. I'm